to keep it just to this, but he is on the slide now, face first into a sign. Whoa. Broke his bike in two right there, calling for a bit of a truce, and it looks like Omar right there in the front from Astana, it looks like he's kind of breaking that truce, going a little bit hard as descent. It would oh, oh, my goodness. Oh, 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 wow, that's oh, a huge crash. Damn, hey. That was Miguel Angel Lopez, third wheel, and... And this is Omar Freyla going a little bit too quickly into this corner and Lopez just losing it. And that's that's one of the big GC favorites. That's as bad as it can get for the Astana squad. Oh, oh, I need... and there's Lopez. He still hasn't gotten going yet. I just, Bob, did you see the state of his bike? It was in two bits. Yeah. And the radio message only just come out, of course, but they haven't got the privilege of television like we have. There it is again, locked up front, locked up back, foot on the ground, straight into the only sign in front of him. Ouch. The front end of his bike snaps off. All right, that's the deal there. Let's stop the troll faces, Harley. This is, and this is Julian Alaphilippe. He should be in yellow jersey now, or tomorrow for stage two. He should be in the yellow. And look at this, brakes fail. Look at that. Failing. Disc brakes failing, and if he didn't have skill, imagine if that was a noob, that would be over the bars, over the barrier. You know, like just all over the shot. Let's look at Lopez again. This is the danger. Disc brakes, road discs should be banned because these guys are going way too fast. Bam, look at that. Just kiss of death to that carbon frame. The frames are too light because they've got to make weight because the disc brake weight extra. You know what I mean? So the frames are flimsy and flexy and they snap. Bang, you know what I mean? He's so lucky. Roglic is like, guys, man, just chill. You know? That's the thing with disc brakes and the Alaphilippe. Remember, this, look at this bike change. They had to change. You got to, his brakes failed. Look at that. Locked up and crashed him. How dangerous is that? Remco's in hospital now because his disc brakes failed. And now, and look, they can't even get the thing off. It's gotten so overheated. It's like smoke's coming off the brakes. And they can't even undo it. So they've got to put the drill down. F1 change gun. And that is trying to put Allen Kier. It's all seized up. This is a brand new $18,000 Australian SL7 Tarmac s -Works made in China, assembled in Taiwan, and sold to barristers all around the world who think disc brakes are an advantage. And they are if you're riding an e-bike or if an Uber Eats rider in London. And this is another example. Now, Quickstep have the bad luck. I'm not sure what's going on here. If they've got the Shimano Voodoo curse, but they have some bad luck with their disc brakes. See, look at this. This is Tour of California 2019 on the S-Works Tarmac. And watch this. I could go down hill way faster than this guy. His brakes are failing. And that goes to show you how good these guys are on the downhills. His disc brakes are failing. They're grabbing. And look at, look at the seat, how it just rubs around his groin area. You know, it's like he's almost off the road. He's just like, what's going on here? If he was in rim brakes, he would be flying down here. Look at the lines he's got. It's like all over the road. This guy's a pro rider, man. And he's out the front of the peloton. Look at this. See his bike just wobble? He's getting speed wobbles. Actually, it's not speed wobbles. It's more disc wobbles. He's getting the disc wobble, which can be the kiss of death, which we saw Remco have the disc wobble before he crashed uh, in the Milan San, was it Milan San Remo. What was it, Tuscany? Lombardia? That's what it was. You know, and look at this. Just the, look at the set wobble. That, doo -doo, doo -doo. Watch it in his groin there. The saddle just like, just that disc wobble. So how do you avoid disc wobbles? Don't go too fast. You know, and don't ride in the hot weather. So it's, in winter time, it's less of an issue. But if it's raining, be really careful when your disc brakes because what happens is they can, especially in the heat, is they can heat up and then you go to grab the pad and it just locks you up and just throws you onto the ground like it happened with Julian Alaphilippe, which happened with Lopez. Just locks up the back wheel, locks up the front wheel. Look at that. You know, your, your grip is only determined by your tyres and he's like, what's going on here? Because these guys run 25 mil tubulars, so 140 PSI. That's in the tarmac there. Let's have a look at this. This is crazy, man. Dangerous ads for these guys. Now, for the average everyday rider, not so much an issue because they don't go so fast. The everyday rider goes pretty casual, but these pro guys, they are absolutely on the limit. So disc brakes of pro riders are definitely a disadvantage, and not even a disadvantage. They're very dangerous. You know, this they should be banned, and I'm not trolling there. They should definitely be banned in the pro peloton. For noobs, they're great because noobs don't go fast, but for pro riders, they are just unpredictable. And this is an environment where they're absolutely on the absolute limit of human physiology and skill level. All right, this is dangerous. Putting you know, you've got these skinny tires. Disc brakes are for fat tires on dirt, not for you know tarmac. 
you know, it's just so dangerous. Look at that kind of in the corner, probably. Crazy. He's just frustrated. Now he's disrupting. He's like, he's looking down. He's like, what are these things doing to my bike? Discs rub. Discs are dangerous. Keep them for gravel. Keep them off the road.